Hello everyone, welcome to MK Tutorials. My name is Musa Kashelo. In today's tutorial, we will share and discuss the secrets behind the taskbar. Where and what is the taskbar? This is the taskbar, the bar that contains the start menu followed by pin applications and running applications. In taskbar secrets, we will pass on six parts. One. The taskbar can be positioned in four areas, bottom, left, right, or top. To change position of the taskbar, just right click on the taskbar, then properties. Taskbar and start menu properties panel will appear. On taskbar, click on taskbar location on screen. You can change it to either side you like. Let's change it to the right. Then apply. Your taskbar will shift to the right. You can change the size of the pinned applications to small. Apply. And you can auto hide your taskbar in case you don't want it to be seen. Apply. Your taskbar will hide and always lock the taskbar. To show the taskbar, just move the cursor toward the right or where your taskbar is, your taskbar will appear. Two. In pinning application to the taskbar, there are two ways. One, you can right click your icon and pin it to taskbar, or you can drag and drop the taskbar. So let's pin some applications. In case you pin wrong or you want to remove a pin application from the taskbar, just right click it and unpin from the taskbar. To hide the running applications, you can just drag them into the arrow right here. You can hide as much as you want. And to unhide them, click the arrow, drag them back to the taskbar. You can also pin the folder to the taskbar. So I'll pin my favorite and you'll pin yours. To pin, right click on the taskbar, then toolbars. On toolbars, you go to new toolbars. Then select which folder you like. Select it and it pin itself. To open it, just right click it, then open folder. To remove the pinned folder, right click the folder, then toolbars, then remove the tick. 3. To move along pinned applications on the taskbar, just press Windows T. Two lines will appear at the first pinned applications. You can move along, use left and right arrow keys. To launch them, just press Enter. You can also move along running applications. You just have to press Windows as the same lines will appear. You can move along by using left and right arrow keys to launch, press enter. Four. You should know that as you pin application to the taskbar, you assign them with a number automatically. The first pin applications will be assigned with one, the second will be assigned with two, and the more you pin your application, the more you assign them with a the number. The tenth will be given ten. So let's learn to them. The simplest way to open a pin application is using a shortcut, which is Windows by the number of the position application. So let's open the first pin application by pressing Windows then one. The first pin application will open up. Let's move the next one at position 2. 
Windows 2 it will open up. What about the 10th? You should press Windows 1 and 0. The 10th application will open up. Some applications can be open in multiples, meaning more than one, more than one. For example, the VLC. Let's say I open the first one and I want to open more. You can use the first means by right clicking the icon, then VLC. The next one will open up. Or you can use the shortcut by pressing Shift, then clicking the icon. The more you hold Shift and click, the more VLC will open. To switch between multiple applications of the same kind, just press Ctrl and click on the icon. The more you press, the more you switch between them. To switch between all open applications, just press Alt then Escape. Hold Alt then press Escape. The more you press Escape, the more you switch between them. Five. To open all open applications, press Ctrl Alt Tab. A panel of all, all open applications will open up. To move along, use left and right arrow keys. To launch, press Enter. The amazing way to open all open applications and switch between them is by pressing Control Windows Tab. Abracadabra. So, let's do something. To switch between them, use left and right arrow keys. It's amazing. I hope you'll never forget this. Six. For instance, you are the that you open a lot of applications on your desktop. You don't have time to minimize all of them or you don't have time to minimize all of them. But you want to see something behind them on your desktop. To pick the desktop, just press Windows then Space. Transparent Pick Desktop will appear. You can see all applications on your desktop or anything you want. Then release to restore. Thank <laughs> you.